Hello, my name is Matt Joyce, and welcome to my video on establishing value and relevancy in the eyes of the employer. So, what is, what is value? So value are all the key things that that employer places importance on. So ensure that you carefully read the actual job description and what specifically the employer is looking for. It's important that you establish value early on in your CV or your, or your application form in order to encourage the company, the person who's representing the company, to continue to continue reading. Relevancy is also important. And what's relevancy all about? So, you may have particular skills, particular attributes, particular experience. But if it doesn't directly relate to the role to which you're applying, the employer isn't going to see relevancy and they're not going to see value. You may have a formal qualification, again, like a degree or, or, or you know, something that's taken you a long time to, to, to attain. But if it's not relevant to that particular role, the employer won't perceive value unless you start to look at the, at the transferable skills. Okay, so the transferable skills are the specific things that you gained whilst attending that program or the particular skills that you attained whilst in a, in a particular job and how they can transfer to this environment. Essentially what you're looking to do is to join up the dots between what you've done and what you, what you want to do. Now, you could think, well, you know, the employer would surely see that you know, someone who's you know, been employed in a company for 15 years has, has, has done good work and that there's plenty of things that could transfer across. But our job is to make it easier for the employer. The easier you can make it by joining the dots up, the more likely it is that they're going to continue to read your application, they're going to continue to read your CV, and that they're going to take action based, based upon it. So, how do you do it? So, have a look at your previous roles, and have a look at the specific tasks that you carried out, the specific tasks and responsibilities. And then, look at how they can relate to the job to which you're applying. Now, there may be a very close link, maybe, in fact, maybe the same job, but equally, it may be a different job in a different sector. But if you can draw out the similarities and you can draw out the relevant value-added activities in that previous job, and then you can link them to the current job, you're making it easier for the employer to understand where those links are. If you've attended a training program or some formal education program, which isn't in a relevant subject, Instead of focusing on the subject, focus upon study skills, focus upon the way in which you dedicated yourself and you applied yourself to that program. Focus on the way in which you manipulated information and used information to produce reports or completed exams or perhaps presented to a particular group, presented something to the, to the, to the class. So think about all the things that you've done and pick out the bits that are relevant to what the current employer is looking for in that particular role. Because relevancy equals value. If in doubt, take it out. It's, in, it's, in, it's important to be focused on the actual value attributes. And if you've got things which add value and things which are, uh, are they here or there, the things that are here or there will take away from those things that produce value in the eyes of the, in the, eyes of the buyer and the buyer is the person who's, who's looking to hire you. This is one in a number of videos of focused around employability skills. Please check out the rest. Feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and good luck in your job search.